When I was a child, I won a goldfish at a fly-by-night carnival that set up shop in the parking lot of a local strip mall. Needless to say, I was very proud as I carried it home in a bulging plastic sack of water. Once home, as we prepared a bowl for the fish, my father, ever the realist, said to me, Try not to get too attached to it. But I was already attached to the thing. It was my first pet. I named it after Marty McFly from that summer's blockbuster hit, Back to the Future. Marty did not die immediately, as my father suggested he might. No, instead he died slowly and miserably. One day, he began to circle his tiny tank frantically, perhaps out of boredom. This continued for a disconcerting amount of time. A bit later, he began to hurl himself into the walls of the bowl at full speed, or directly into the gravel, as if seeking to end it all. Finally, he hid in his cave, languishing near the bottom of his bowl. Not long after, he was dead. Now I think I know how he felt, circling in a predictable, fake plastic environment, intent on self-annihilation while distorted faces look on from the outside, seemingly for entertainment.